8 days holiday in late April to do something that was on my to-do list for the past one year, to finally paint my hull. I had no practical experience and the only source was basically a Don Casey's sailboat maintenance manual and a bunch of YouTube videos. Admittedly, I was even reluctant to put this online as it might be embarrassing, but I decided to do so as I tend to think of this as a part of the learning process. That being said, all comments are welcome. Hull looked just absolutely unrecognizable comparing with the haul out in April 2021 and needless to say, all or most of my scraping efforts from February this year was already neutralized by new fresh marine buildup. Once finished, I collected approximately 5 to 10 kilos of growth that probably contained bits and pieces of paint layers and rust from the keel, so proper disposal was necessary. High pressure wash revealed places where paint job couldn't stand the test of time, and on some places paint was literally peeling off under the force of the water jet. Once cleaning was finished, it was time to move boat to designated place where I could proceed with ascending and painting. As it was easterly wind, marina staff decided to put me on the end of the dry dock area to prevent dust from sanding spreading to the other boats. From all stages, I found sanding to be most difficult one. It was not only because of my lack of knowledge how to properly do it, but also because I decided to sand it down to gel coat wherever possible, which took a lot of time on some sections. I bought over Amazon a Bosch orbital sender and little that I know that the amount of the sending discs that I originally bought will not be enough. So I ordered some more online and it turned out that additional 400 pieces of mixed 50 and 80 grit papers was just about enough for the job. As for their quality, well, I'll just say you were lucky if they could hold a grip for more than 3 minutes. The very bottom of the boat around the keel was most difficult to sand. Not only because of the tiring posture, but also the condition of the paint was quite deceiving. What appeared to be a thick, well-formed paint on some places would start peeling like an eggshell after a couple of strikes with a scraper. I will show extreme cases later in the video while sending parts that are now supported by the cradle.
step was to completely remove all protective paint from the propeller. It seems that I found the right tool in the form of the steel wire brush that allowed me great control of movements along the propeller blades. Prior painting I decided to apply masking tape on the hull and I made another bad choice. I used 50mm masking tape which was too wide and difficult to bend in order to match the waterline. This particularly became an issue in the stern region of the boat. Once I switched to more narrow type, I think it was a 15mm tape, things started to go smoothly once again. I decided to start from the keel and give it a try, as this surface was more forgiving for any possible mistakes. Also starting from below and going upward would probably be the right thing to do, as you don't want to have a fresh paint over your head. Primer needed good steering, anti falling paint needed a couple of rounds more. I decided not to use any thinner, as weather was cool and cloudy, so I didn't expect any excessive hardening due to heat. see that painting over the primer was much more smoother operation than applying primer over the sanded hull. That being said, I knew that worst part was behind me and from now on everything was supposed to be a smooth ride.
Once the second layer of hull paint cured, Ray was brought once more to the crane to be repositioned in the cradle. Now, if you remember what I said about those tricky paint layers minutes ago, this is what I look like. Thick layers of paint that seem stable enough to sustain slight sanding, but once you find the cracks and start using scraper, they can be removed with relative ease. And they are all characterized with this light greenish color that probably had something to do with water penetrating top paint layers. Works amazing. I noticed much better control of the propeller. Uh, I mean the thrust. You can feel the difference. I went like what five ten meters reverse. I have a much better feeling when it goes reverse than before. It seems more powerful. So I'm gonna do just one uh, one test round around the marina. you guys enjoyed this episode and please as always like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button for notifications about future contents thanks again and see you soon